It's a double dipper that flies. Let's have a look. If you've ever flown a drone, you know how great it feels. You pull the levers and suddenly you're flying your own tiny plane. It's exciting. This is Metafly. And flying it is exciting on a completely different level. Like on a scale of 1 to 10, it's level 11 exciting. Maybe even 12. Metafly has wings that enable it to fly just like winged animals do. So it can maneuver just like winged animals do. Technically, it's not a drone. It's an ornithopter. But really, it's more than that. It's a Metafly. Metafly flies using a unique method called biomimetics, denoting synthetic methods that mimic natural processes. You know how a bird flies into your house and can navigate around everything without hitting anything? Metafly can do that, because it mimics the natural movement of the bird with its synthetic wings. See what we did there? That's science explaining awesomeness. Metafly flies just like in nature. It can take turns, fly slow or fast, and can maneuver around anything. It can also glide and be controlled to glide left and right. With those abilities, Metafly is one of the few RC flying objects that can actually fly in small spaces. Here it is flying in an office. Here it is flying in a house. Here it is flying in an even smaller house. Outdoors, Metafly can enjoy its full speed. By changing the direction of its tail, Metafly can fly faster when its tail is down or more controllable when it's up. Due to its two-channel remote control that allows for further range, no interference and maximum control, you can fly Metafly super fast towards those dense trees and then maneuver between them like only a Metafly can. Now that's even level 13 exciting. Oh, and don't worry about crashing. Metafly has elastic wings and legs in addition to both front and back bumpers to protect its body. Take that tree. Metafly is the result of more than 40 years of research and development. Edwin, an aeronautical engineer and the creator of Metafly, got into the field after his grandfather, this cool dude, created the first successful mechanic bird together with Edwin's father. Much later, Edwin himself successfully crowdfunded and delivered Bionic Bird. Now, he's diving even deeper into the world of biomimetics to take flight abilities even further. So if you want to fly just like animals in nature do, get Metafly and get ready to immerse yourself in an experience like no other. Metafly. Like I said, they double dipped on both Kickstarter and on Indiegogo, and more on that in just a moment. You may even have seen their ads on Facebook. It's really a neat looking toy, but there's only one thing. Does it pass my usual question that I always ask? Is it available someplace else? Well, if you know how to use the search function on Amazon, you could find a radio-controlled ornithopter. And in fact, you could find all sorts of ornithopters. Radio-controlled, wind-up, battery-powered, rubber-band-powered, in fact. And it's not as if this is a really new technology. But the strangest thing of all if you were now to go to Indiegogo, you don't find the site that we showed you earlier. You find this. What exactly is going on? It's, it's not really a new technology. It goes back to well into the 60s, perhaps even the 50s. Well, anyway, if you want to take the time to have somebody crowdfund the items, source the parts, go through all of the wait for them to make it and then ship it to you when you could just as easily have bought it and had it within days. Well, it's, it's your money. Use it wisely. Want some more? Let's take a look at Oceanus Brass Ring. This was on Kickstarter. It's obviously going to be successful. See how exciting this product is.
has redeveloped the original solid brass key ring. The result of our hard work is the Oceanus Brass Snap Shackles Ring. Inspired by the nautical grade solid brass rings found on Snap Shackle sailing hardware of years past. The Oceanus Brass Snap Shackles Ring brings the same saltwater durability to you directly. Tied to the art and science of sailing and exploration, the Oceanus Brass Snap Shackles Ring harkens back to a time of adventure on the open seas. Its durability a testament to the harsh demands of that bygone era. Solid brass construction provides the benchmark material for extreme environments and industry standard heat treatment provides the strength to make the Oceanus Brass Snap Shackles ring stay closed when it is supposed to. A classic design makes the Snap Shackles ring versatile for all the tasks that we encounter on a daily basis. If you are a boat owner, an active outdoorsman, or a lover of the ocean, then stop carrying around that cheap steel key ring and upgrade now. Creating a ring of this magnitude was not simple. When embarking on our prototyping research, we were told no one does this anymore. Wait a minute, what did she just say? We were told no one does this anymore. That's what I thought she said, but if that's correct, how does she explain the following? Four seconds of looking on Amazon gets us the same kind of brass twisted key ring that she's extolling the virtues of as if it were the next best thing to sliced bread. Again, always ask yourself, is it available someplace else? Now you're going to love this next one because you'll be able to fly something using the power of your mind to control it. Introducing U-Drone, the ultimate mind-reading drone that allows you to fly a drone with the power of your mind. U-Drone integrates leading cognitive technologies into an intelligent headset that reads your brain waves, tracks slight facial movements, and converts these signals into commands. At the size of your palm, the 85 grams U-Drone is extremely compact, lightweight, and portable. To take off, all you need to do is concentrate and imagine the drone lifting off. You can even adjust the altitude by imagining, adjust the flying direction by tilting your head, and land the drone by biting your teeth. Capturing a photo with U-Drone can be done with two blinks with your eyes, or a peace sign with your hand. All U-Drone images are consistently sharp and vivid. The HD camera shoots stabilized videos at 1080p and stunning still images at 8 megapixels. Tracking a certain subject on the move or from different angles? Our subject tracking technology can automatically identify and continually follow a moving person. If you wish to reach further, flying with your mobile device as the remote control is an alternative option. You can view real-time camera feed on the U-Drone app and sync photos and videos onto your device instantly. Whether you are indoor or outdoor, the U-Drone will be a perfect add-on to your magical moments. The powerful camera system automatically adjusts camera focus, exposure, and position to ensure your face is ideally displayed in the frame. All you need to do is act naturally. Whenever inspiration strikes across your mind, U-Drone will lead you into an adventure within and beyond your imagination. Setting aside that this thing is promising that it can do the same stuff that any number of crowdfunded drones have claimed for years now and still no one has delivered the product yet. Setting all of that aside, setting aside the fact that you would have to ask, why is it that the military and at least the commercial airline companies don't have thought 
controlled aircraft in the air right now over your head. Let's take a look at a couple of the things that are showing up on this particular page. Namely, the impossibly low goal necessary to bring this technological marvel and wonder of the age to the market, plus the fact that Kickstarter suspended them. And the reason why they suspended them may never really be known, but this was their explanation. From the comments section, Dear backers, we have had our product images taken without our permission by several scam Shopify and AliExpress sites. And it goes on and on, but they talk about their suspension here in Kickstarter, where they say we still haven't heard back from Kickstarter about why our campaign was suspended. Our belief that these sites have something to do with it has been getting stronger. Well, maybe yes, maybe no. Remember, Kickstarter wants to see working prototypes. They're kind of unique in the crowdfunding site industry in that regard. However, one of the things that they've talked about, or at least threatened, they are going to go now to Indiegogo to relaunch the campaign. And it says so right here. For our part, we have lodged an appeal to Kickstarter and are waiting for a reply. At the same time, we are prepared for Plan B, relaunching the campaign on Indiegogo. And lo and behold, if you go to Indiegogo now, you will find this campaign. And remember, folks, Indiegogo is that great bastion of crowdfunding that does not require a working prototype to be demonstrated or even seen, or that the product is even viable. That alone should put an awful lot of confidence in you, shouldn't it? Welcome to crowdfunding hell.